Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate ClickUp with other CRM programs. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at ClickUp or log into our existing account. First things first, if you want to create any integration, we have to go to the bottom left part of our screen and click in here. Let me make it more visible. We want to click on our initials. When this pop-up window show up, there are integrations. We can click on the integration. Straight away, we can pick the integrations that we want to create. We can add it even to Discord, which is a very nice option. We have GetUp, Bitbucket, Microsoft Teams. Let's try Discord, add to Discord. And basically, that's how you we can select a server, for example, the boys. Continue. What we uh, want to do with this click up a bot, authorize, I am human. And that's about it. We have it in our Discord right now. For example, if you can see in my in my Discord, there is ClickUp bot. Basically, we can get rid of it anytime we want by just ban ClickUp. We don't have to delete anything, and basically we kicked him out. So yeah, it's very easy. We can also it this it works like this with basically even Slack or Tableau or GitHub. Or we can use another approach by using third-party app, for example, automate.io, which is basically the integration app. We can start with adding ClickUp, like this, like this, and then its counterpart. For example, if we want to integrate it with MailChimp, and then basically it works like this we have some uh, popular integrations through automate or we can pick the trigger or the actions as a trigger we want to start with the click up with actions we have to pick from mailchimp don't um, switch it around we click on try it now and basically, after you log in into Automate, which is all really free, we don't have to pay anything, you can finish this um, integration. So it's really you, up to you guys. If you want to do it through, through ClickUp or you want to do it through third-party app, it's up to you, but I get it. If it's not here, you have to do it through third-party. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.